Hi, I'm John Grant, and welcome back to the Johnny Grant Show. The UFC is preparing for its huge UFC 300 card on April 13th, where we will see three championship belts go on the line. But no main events are set in stone after UFC 300. So let's go over five fights we need to see after UFC 300. At number one, Sean O'Malley versus Mirab Davalishvili. After Sean O'Malley picked apart Cheeto Vera at UFC 299 in Vegas and retained his championship belt, the next man up is number one ranked bantamweight Mirab Davalishvili. A lot of talk has been made on social media about this fight and everyone wants to see this happen. This fight's a no-brainer. Davalishvili versus O'Malley is definitely the fight to make. There has been talk about Ilya Toporia versus Sean O'Malley, but that is really undeserved and would never happen yet. At number two, John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. Uh, the heavyweight division is at a very weird spot right now with John Jones hurt, but he's still the champion. Tom Aspinall is the interim heavyweight champion after his victory versus Sergei Pavlovich. When John Jones comes back from injury, he wants to fight Stipe Miocic before Aspinall because that fight was booked for last November. So John Jones should be ready to go after UFC 302. John Jones or Stipe has to happen soon because it's put in the heavyweight division in a really confusing spot. Stipe is regarded by many as the greatest heavyweight of all time, but we haven't seen him since 2021 when he was knocked out by Francis Ngannou. The last thing John Jones needs for his almost flawless resume is to beat the greatest heavyweight of all time. If he beats him flawlessly enough, we might not see John Jones fight ever again, and we will get robbed of Aspinall vs. Jones like we got robbed of Ngannou vs. Jones. At number three, Leon Edwards vs. Bilal Muhammad, two. Bilal is due for his title shot and his rematch with Leon after their UFC fight night ended in a no contest after an eye poke. Bilal, the number two ranked welterweight, is next up for Leon Rocky Edwards. While Bilal is not the fan favorite by any means, Bilal is on a seven fight win streak coming off a decision win versus Gilbert Burns. Edwards versus Muhammad, too, needs to happen soon because Leon has two other challengers coming up for that title fight in Shavkat Rachmanov and Jack Della Maddalena. For our fourth fight that needs to happen after UFC 300, Islam Makachev versus Justin Gaethje. Before Charles Oliveira or Armin Sarukian, or indefinitely before Dustin Poirier, Gaethje deserves a title shot. Assuming he beats Holloway at UFC 300, he should get the title shot first. He's on a two-fight win streak after beating Rafael Fiziev and Dustin Poirier, but Justin Gaethje deserves that first shot at him. And at number five, Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. This fight's almost a year overdue. Chandler is wasting valuable time of his career waiting around for this fight to be made. Both Connor and Chandler have said this fight's going down this summer. McGregor off a loss and a broken leg to Dustin Poirier looks to come back and get back on the winning side versus Michael Chandler, who's also coming off of a loss to Dustin Poirier. This fight's a guaranteed banger, and we need it to happen. UFC fans are long overdue for this matchup. If you're still listening, thank you so much for watching The Johnny Grant Show. I'm John Grant, and see you next time.